maintenance as a whole, we're the we're the ground ops. We're the ones that get our jet fixed and ready to go, get the next sortie that whatever uh, big Air Force has is doing. When it comes out here, when we're doing uh, deployment ops, where it's it's real adamant that we're we're quick on our job, that we do our job efficiently and safely, and provide a product to air crew where they're going to want to take the jet and be able to go downrange and do what they need to do. So if maintenance wasn't around to fix these jets up. We're not we're not really in the fight. We're not really uh, out there uh, showing our adversaries that we can uh, we can deter them and assuring our our NATO partners that we can help them out with the buff on the ground. Um, anything can happen, and we can't be there to respond to it. It goes hand to hand with the ops side. It's of course, like we said, the, these aircraft go in the air, and ops get to do their missions with our NATO partners. But the maintenance aspect of it is they're, they're the ones that get it there. They're the ones that, that ensure these aircraft day in and day out are ready for those higher headquarter missions that drop, no matter what time. The maintainers are, are a real strategic part of it, all that. 24-7, 365, uh, no matter the day, whatever the mission needs, we're out here. If this jet's got to fly, we got to make sure it's safe and ready to go. So next we're here, let's finish out this, uh, this deployment strong, um, get these birds back home, getting our guys spun up, get back home, train the guys that they learned here. They learned some good maintenance practices. Let's go back home and take that there.